so here we are back at the corner of um, Inverness and Clyde looking at the little square Christmas tree with it being Christmas and some wags put road cones up on the top of the band rotunda thing so go across here Hey Kim. That's all pretty much the same. Toy shop there, never anybody in there. That's an interior shop. Never anybody in there. B and Z's in there. And another another barber shop. Uh, and then that was the bank. The ANZ, and that's going to be a restaurant, bar. Okay. And on this side, Baker's Delight, Opsom, Chinese, cheapo shop. This, this is a travel agent. Hello world, you think it would be a, a mobile phone shop, and they've got speech bubbles in the window. <laughs> Civic Video's gone. Uh, all three video stores have gone now. Uh, that was budget travel, then it was Harvey travel, that's empty. Uh, that sushi place is still there. The health shop's still there, the camera shop's still there. Okay, on that side, the, the takeaway, that restaurant keeps changing hands. The cafe's still there. Uh, bakery's still there. Hospice shop still there. This was the BNZ, I think, and then it became a big two-dollar shop. They couldn't pay the rent, and so now there's another big two-dollar shop in there, run by Indians, I think. See more graffiti up there at the roundabout now. Wood calls are still here, just only just though. I think they're only just hanging on. So looking down there, Bollywood's still there, although they don't have the $10 meals, they're now $13. And not much so many people go there now. So now we're going along Anzac, with the wind picked up. Countdown's still there, still the same. Well, see some of the trees are out, they're not really that bright here though. Usually. Usually one over here goes bright red. I think it's that one over there, but it hasn't this year, or it might do later on. Some are amazing. Uh, so, here, so see where the big countdown sign is. Those were the trees before, you might remember, and they pulled those out to put their sign, big sign there, because across the road, New World has their big sign. So, it's a bit of competition between the two. A new world's a bit cheaper. So that's the new world from this side, from Inverness Road. So that's where the market is. In here. But it's not in this part where the covers are. That's New World's car park. So it splits the market in two. Anyway. So those shops are still there, the beauty place, Doris, the eclectic shop, the Indian place. There's another real estate. Oh, now that's where Palmer's, the garden centre was. Okay, at the back there, there's a, another childcare. There's another gym. There's massage, a butcher. Turkish cafe, a juice bar, a sushi bar and a muffin break. They wanted to put apartments there, but it didn't happen. I don't know what I don't know what happened. Because uh, they you can put five stories now. So on this side the coffee bar's still there. Base flowers still there. Muffin break, that's another chain. But at least there's no McDonald's or any rubbish like that here yet. So that was the other gym. And they were going to build five-story 
million dollar apartments there. There was a big, big hoarding and big, you know, big sign and big hoo-ha, and it, it folded, and so they just cleared the site and it's for sale, as you can see. Doctors are still there. This area is pretty much the same. That little um, pie shop changed hands. It's a Thai fellow now, I think. Sometimes they have pies for a dollar. But yesterday's pies, and they're not bad. And he has very good sausage rolls. That's, so that's where the market usually is. This was Civic Video, you might remember. Now it's another big uh, green grocer's. And then there's a gym on the corner there. Now that put, put a car, look at the colour on that one. We'll get a bit closer. So on this side it's all pretty much the same. Well it is the same. But it's all slated for five to six storeys. Uh, and eventually, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. The, so anyway, have a look at this. This is really lovely. So there we are, had a tour around town, saw some of the changes, it's still quiet, so that's good. Uh, the shops I like are still there, still get a bit of dumpster diving in, but all the charity stores have gone very boutique and they throw out better stuff than they sell. Back at Glen Road, there's the sign for the South African shop, Italian restaurant, I think that's changed hands. It's been there for a long time. That hairdresser changed hands, Chinese restaurant, that's always quite busy. Well, not today though. South African shop, we've come full circle now. There's the units, they've all been painted, except for mine. I'm in the process of doing mine, slowly. It all looks pretty much the same. There's the van, still covered in dust. And this is what the end of the street looks like with the big apartments. But they don't go up high enough to block the sky, which is good. I think if they were newer ones, they would have gone higher than that, so been quite lucky. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. It was good fun. I'll go back now and listen to the rest of the cricket. Talk soon.